What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create a page heading section using WP Bakery Page Builder WordPress plugin in a simple, fast and easy way. First of all, we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard and we're gonna create a new page on Pages Add New. You can use both back-end or front-end page builder editors. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to use the front-end page builder. Let's give a title to this page. And as you can notice, you can, while you're using Visual Modo WordPress Teams, you have some special section called page options where you can input your page heading section using some awesome elements but the entire idea of this video is not use it and use the only the WP Bakery options we're gonna start by using the custom heading element as you can notice you can use a custom title text and or use the page name you can edit the position the font size the font set the line height, the font color, just make sure that you set the use them full fonts so you can load your site font. Let me go to the edit raw settings and the design options so I can apply some padding top and padding bottom. Save change and let's check the result. A simple page heading section, but we can make it better. Let me just explain the importance of this section called page options. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to use it. But as you can notice, you can apply the page title here or even remove the page menu and footer by setting as no, for example. Now you can just see the page body content, no heading, no footer. But if you set header and footer, you can set as no in the layout header title. So that the page no dis do, do not display the title section and only shows the page builder elements. Let me increase the heading, the padding. and apply some background color. Let's check the result. We need to make it full edit to look like the one that we have on the page options. On the raw, where the custom heading element is located, we're gonna set the raw stretch and stretch raw. Now we're gonna align the, the element by adding some more padding to the bottom. Change the custom heading text color for a white one. And now we already have our page heading section and you can start adding more elements into your page content. As example of a column with a single image and some text blocks next to it. Just don't forget to apply into the design options the padding to separate the sections. Let me just edit the image to make it full, size it. In the image size, I'm gonna write full.
back to the page options section, you have the settings, and into the settings you can set some overlay to make the page contents enter on the menu and have a transparent menu, in this case with light colors, like this. Now, let's start playing around with the background of our page heading section. As example here, then I'm gonna be adding a background image. Just don't forget to set to the image cover. Let me remove the image and do something special. In the raw settings, if you are using any visual model, WordPress themes, you're gonna find the background section. In this section, you can, you can do a lot of things, as an example of this one here, the page, background, gradient, color. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to use page, background, gradient, effects. But as you can see, it's simple and fast. Let's check the result. In addition, you can click on the plus button in the bottom of the custom heading section, apply some text block, type something, align it to the center, select all and set as a white color to make some subheading and using the top plus button you can apply some icon for example. Click on the plus, search for the element, for example this one, the icon, select some icon, set the icon size and color, in this case it's gonna be white, we're gonna align to the center, save change, and let's check the result. And it's done, we have created some awesome custom heading section into our WordPress website. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes, and I see you later. All the best!